we were invited to be a part of this、uh, program called Odomo TV by producer friends in Japan,、uh, Tomo and Genki. Yeah, this project was really incredible because it, with, the concept of it was having kids do what they do, whether it's dance or drawing, and using that as source material, the producers invited in professionals to take the kids' work and treat it on a professional level. For the first season,、uh, we animated a story based on this children's writing. That was very challenging because the story itself was very nonsensical. And the second season, purely took kids' drawings and let them just draw anything they wanted. And we interviewed them as they were drawing to see what they were thinking about story wise or character wise, and we just animated that. The chalkboard idea came about when we were talking about the nature of a children's drawing and really trying to bring that to life and trying to keep the rawness and the looseness of it. And I think that's where you came up with an idea of using the chalkboard, such a great medium to be able to animate on, in a way, capture the children's drawing more accurately. You know, there's really nobody we could think of except for Toshi to lead the project. Just to see Toshi's animation evolve within this project was fascinating for me. 子どもが作った、まあ、ストーリーというのは面白くて、まあ、いい意味でナンセンスな物語を作ってきてくれて、まあ、僕らがアニメーションを作る上でそこのギャップをどうにかして埋めるプロセスがすごく面白かったですね。プロジェクトはプロダクションマネージャーであるジジェルに助けを借りてスケジュールを組み完成まで持っていきました。My favorite thing about whole project is that I hadn't seen anything like that before. The concept of the project and the, the way in which we were able to us collaborating with kids to make their stories come to life and for them to challenge us to think outside of the box. It was new, it was exciting, and it was just great to be able to work with kids. Odomo, it was Crazy for me to see the project for the first time when we were animating children's drawings that it really felt like kids' drawing come to life. It reminded me of what it was to be a kid and to imagine again and to really see the world through that perspective. And I didn't expect that. I feel like because of the nature of the projects we work on, objectively we're always thinking about story structure and character. And in a way, this is such pure animation. Just like the children's artwork and their writing, it's sort of unpredictable. Right. このプロジェクトを通してすごく思ったのがやっぱり僕ら大人になったらどんどん考え方が保守的になってなかなかすごい奇抜な発想って出なくなってくるんですけども子どもたちと一緒にこの作品を作ることによって自分にも初心に戻れたしもっと頭を柔らかくして作品を作っていかないといけないのかなと思いました。